a dumb bitch. She's a runner, she's a track star. How'd you pull this off, Alia? You're the best! Believe you got everyone to swap seats so I can sit extra Adrian. Then again, it might not be the best idea. If it could keep me from paying attention in class, and if I fail, it'd be a total disaster because then Adrian and I would never have our own house! The three kids! The hamster named! Oh, what are you talking about? You're not sitting next to Adrian. Your seat's over there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. At the back? Why? What's going on? Well, since she's got a hearing issue, there's, there's no way she could sit at the back of the class, right? Which means that she needed a place up in the front. So to make it work, Ivan sat next to me, Len. Nate sat next to Alex. Besides, she came up with the idea of moving Mino here, so now we get to spend more time together. <laughs> Who is this she? Good morning, students. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard by now, but Lila's home from her trip to Achu, and she is back in school with us again. Hi, everyone! Hi, Hi Lila! You're such sweethearts, all of you. Do you have a hearing problem, Lila? Yes, I suffer from tinnitus, a constant ringing in my left ear. I Boy, if you don't get- I've had it ever since the sound of an airplane engine burst my eardrum on the runway when I was saving Jagged Stone's lost kitten. Isn't Jagged Stone's pet a crocodile? <laughs> And you two can sit up front. I don't mind. No! My return is causing so much trouble. Maybe I should have just stayed on the other side of the world. That's a great idea. I, I'm with that. Boys got the shout. Baby got the If Marinette has an issue too, then I should be the one to go and sit in the back. So pick me, choose me, love me, please me. The arena of teenage angst, where emotions are so intense. A perfect stadium for my dear Akumas. Being separated from your friends. Becoming isolated. Just what devastating anger is made of. Fly away and evilize this angry high school girl. Are you Lila? <sighs> Thank you, you're so sweet. Here's your appetizer, Lila. And I've got your main course. I'll bet you're deserving. Well, uh... Boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but, uh... Look, you're a simp. I'm sorry, I can't carry my own tray. It's almost impossible with a sprained wrist. Uh, sorry. Lila's totally lying. She made up that whole tonight story just so she could sit next to Adrian and her sprained wrist is completely bogus too. I don't get it, Marinette. You barely know Lila. Why all the hate? And actually no ladybug? Uh, well, I, um, I, uh, I, okay, you want proof she's lying? Hey, Lila, you forgot your napkin. <laughs> It's obvious she doesn't have a sprained wrist. Oh. <gasps> uh. oh. <clears throat> Marinette? Oh, are you crying? Are you blind? You no, I'm not. Hey, Lila. Adrian, well, I'll have to figure out when you're going to help me catch up on all the schoolwork I missed. I also heard you play piano. My uncle's a great pianist. Pianist Chuck Burchuk. He wanted to teach me when I was little, but I had to stop playing because of arthritis. <laughs> but when my wrist gets better, I'd love for you to give me some lessons. Lila, I'm perfectly happy being friends with you, and I'll gladly help you catch up on your schoolwork. But please don't lie to me like you did last time with Ladybug. <laughs> Can't stand those super goody two shoes. Get that head, then leave. Peace out.
Pac-Ma, I am Lila. I know you want to destroy Ladybug. And so do I. Yeah. Yes, I remember you. Give me super villain powers and I'll give you her and Pac-Ma is miraculous. With pleasure. I have some new powers for you, Chameleon. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> To apologize for what just happened. I've thought about it, and you're right. I want us to be friends, so I'll never tell another lie again. Nino! I have something to tell you. You don't deserve my friendship, or your girlfriend, or your cap. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you should see your faces. Don't miss my performance at the ice. I'm out of here. Don't intend to. Rocket time! A t-shirt? <laughs> Can't you plan to defeat me, Ladybug? Make me dress like you? On second thought, such horrible fashion might actually do me in! Like chameleon? You'll see. It's an old acquaintance. Hmm? <laughs> butterfly Bentley. Bye bye, little butterfly. <gasps> Ladybug, I'd be honored to call you my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, hey, some advice? You don't have to lie and pretend to be something you're not. People will like you just for being yourself. You have my word, Ladybug. Stop the cap! <laughs> Bug out! Bye! This you? This you?